Let me have a look at that sword, Gerard, while you try on the armor. Certainly. You can also have this helmet. I feel like I'm not going to be needing it anymore. Thank you. Just holding this armor, Alorora, I can feel the protective magic that was woven into it during its creation. This is a truly wondrous set of armor. Is it made of gold by any chance? It looks like it is. Nay, it's merely gilded with gold. Armor made out of gold would be terrible, heavy and soft. No amount of magic would be able to mitigate that weakness. You're quite right, Vulcan. It is gilded with it. And it's inlaid with intricate elven runes that no doubt hold the magic that this possesses. You look the spitting image of a holy warrior, even more than you already do, Gerard. I feel a great responsibility on my shoulders wearing this. Like I have to right the wrongs of this land even more fervently than I already am. Which means going up against Strahd, I wager. I had a feeling that that was going to be our eventual course. Are you sure about this, Gerard? Strahd is no joke. Strahd has power beyond anything we know. I have a feeling that we're going to eventually come to blows with Strahd one way or another. So I must prepare myself mentally for it. It's a wise course of action. Now, Blade, what secrets do you hide? The magic within this may not be as potent as the magic in the Paladin's Blade, but it has a far keener edge. I dare say you should use this rather than what you're currently using. Then I shall. It's kind of fitting, considering that I'm wearing the armor the Prince used to wear to battle. You can use this sword if you like, Falcon. I feel a bit wary taking it off you. I'm not a paladin, after all, and yet you fight with all the ferocity of one seeking to do good. You would honor the blade by wielding it. If you insist, thank you. We should probably prepare different spells for going back to the surface. Fireballs might serve us better. Indeed. Well, come back, folks. The Let's Play Ravenloft Strahd's Possession, and when last we left off, we finally cleared this dungeon. And my, do we have a fantastic set of armor. And if we were to use the shield with this armor, Gerard's armor class would go all the way down to minus four, which is fantastic. As it stands, I don't want to do that. Do need to be careful though, you're currently at light encumbrance. I should probably have somebody else hold onto the shield for now. You can hold onto the shield. Also, I've just noticed that this here is a fantastic way of uh, gauging the encumbrance that somebody's at. I just saw it change from uh, this one to a uh, redder tinted one with the uh, little dial over here. That's cool. Right, let us, uh, actually, let's rest and get our spells ready one more time. Because we have some backtracking to do. We have a rod that we can use on a body in the, um, it's actually, uh, there we go, in the um, church, and we have a werewolf to cure of their lycanthropy. Let's get aid and aid and then some negative plane protections and then get to work. We also need to go and uh, use the key that we got from the ghost of a jeweler on the locked door in his house and get the goodies there. I have a feeling that we're going to be collecting quite a few things that will help us in using Tremea's catalogue in the near future, because uh, that elven crown is one of them, and the jewel that we were told about by uh, the ghost, at least I think it's a jewel, would be another. Right, we need to go this way, and back out. If that is, I can not smash into walls. Now, there definitely won't be a banshee here anymore, because that spirit is now free of their curse forever. Right, keep your wits about you, everyone. We may have cleared that tomb, but there may be many more threats that have returned to this place. Indeed. Also, I spy a few places here that we haven't yet explored. Then we'll explore them as best we can. But we'll do so quickly. Right, if 
we hug the edges here, we shouldn't encounter too many enemies. There are definitely some. I see a vampire there and some ghouls. Right, let's check out these here. Also, let's have a look around first before we do, just in case we're getting attacked. We are not. Right. Time to save and time to delve in. In here we have... Nothing. Just the room to guard this cemetery. It's likely not been used for many years. The layers of dust tell me that. What about the other room? Be ready, everyone. Another storage room. Another safe place. If only we'd have known about this before we started exploring this place. Ah well. We should head to the church next. That's a sound we didn't hear the last time we were here. Indeed. Let's look about quickly. There's a zombie. We should get rid of it. Make sure this place is safe to walk once more. And a zombie's not gonna cause us that many problems. That's gone. Now. There's a room here that we have not been into. And I struggled to uh, find the way in last time, but there's likely a switch either in here or in here that will open the way. So let's be a little more thorough in our searching. Nothing here. Nothing here. What about in here? There's no button there. No button. Ah! Do you see that? A button. Well spotted. Oh! Let's be ready for those bats that infest this level. And they're gone. There are quite a few things here we could use. I'm sure the priest won't mind if we take them. Potion of healing. Cleric scroll of raised dead, I mean, they're useful. We haven't had a need to use one yet, but we might one day. A plate helm? Doesn't do anything, uh, different to uh, this, so we'll just, uh, switch this out because the plate helm looks cooler. Potion of healing. Potion of healing. Another potion of, this time, of extra healing. This scroll looks different to the others. I think this is the final scroll we need for that person suffering from lycanthropy. Then let us move with haste. There's a mace here. I wonder if it's magical. I'll check quickly. It... Let's have a look. It... Isn't magical. Okay, entirely mundane mace. And one more healing potion. Oh, that puts you into light load. We don't want that. So now that we've found that, there's one more thing we need to do, and that involves the, uh, not the Rod of Smiting, the Rod of Rebirth. Put that in your hands as we head to the lower level. We have an Acolyte to resurrect. Through here... And here, and back into the lower levels, that hopefully aren't going to be infested with zombies again. That is a, a big hope. Right, down we go. I don't hear any zombies. This is encouraging. Right, I believe it was in here. No, it wasn't in here, it was the next room along. There was a body. Here. Now, how do I use this? If I put it here, and then... There we go! And just like that, he's flesh and blood once more. A miracle. A miracle of the gods. Let us speak with him. 
How can I ever thank you for my life? Not only have you rescued me from death, you have brought back my bones from a cursed and fleshless state. I thank the gods I was able to escape Castle Ravenloft, and that I died here where you found me. By whose hand were you stripped to cursed bone? Who did this foul deed? It was Strahd. You must understand, he is no civil and ordinary count, no mere lord. Strahd is death itself. He is a vampire, a Nosferatu, a creature of solitary evil who feeds on the blood of men and of women. This land will know peace only if he is destroyed, and I will gladly join any efforts in that regard. A vampire? So the rumors are true. And he is a great evil that must be stopped. What events led up to this fate? Your flesh, guts, and tissues brushed aside like dust, leaving your enduring bones. Know this. I suspected our Lord Strahd of being a vampire. And so I stole into Castle Ravenloft while the sun burned bright, intent to destroy him. How can I describe the raw, coarse, and scabrous evil? The horror of Strahd's minions as they attack me? It is impossible. I barely escaped with my life. Yet when I reached the church, dusk had drawn its veil across the land, and Strahd was there. And he killed you. Aye, he did. How could you, a priest, have gone to Castle Ravenloft uninvited and alone? I can't believe you had a key. Exactly. North of Barovia lies a barrier, a gate beyond which a path snakes its way to Strahd's castle. I possess the key to that gate. Even in death, I hid it beyond Strahd's recovery. I know not what quest you are about, but as certain as the rising sun, whatever you seek is in that castle. Believe it! Strahd controls, watches, and holds all information and all things of value in the land. True. Strahd's authority seems boundless. We can't ask you to join us after what you've experienced, but will you give up the key, so that we might visit this castle uninvited? The key is yours. I know you will use it well. And when you come to realize the full horror of Strahd's nature, you will work toward his destruction. I believe it with all my heart. You have our word that we will defeat Strahd. I believe it. I believe it. This key does not go on the key ring. This is the Sharp Iron Swalich Road Key. Interesting. Before we go and confront Strahd, we must cure that man of his lycanthropy. I agree. Let us go there post haste. And that means heading back to the area west of Barovia. So let us go there as quickly as we can. That involves, uh, going down and across, and then up, past here. I wonder if you have any different dialogue, considering what we've just done. Nope, there's no new dialogue. No new dialogue at all. Fair enough. Let us, uh, head out and away. And hopefully not encounter any more zombies. To be fair, a zombie or two, not gonna be the most dangerous threat we face en route back to the man suffering from lycanthropy. We are gonna have to deposit some things with the paladin, though. Quite a few things, actually. Can't believe how happy I am to see Barovia again. I keep surprising myself with how relieved I am to see it. Me too, but we can't linger. That poor man needs our help. Hopefully these scrolls that we have will be enough. Do you remember the way to undo it? It's a little hazy in my mind, but I think I can. <coughs> I have a few memories of it, too. Together, I think we'll succeed. Is this going to be a dangerous process? It could be, Valica. If this fails, we'll have a very angry werewolf to face. 
let's be quick. We need to quickly move through here. Uh, well, as quickly as uh, these skeletal bats allow us to move, then again, there aren't that many of them. I'm very glad, by the way, that I did that I did all of the uh, loading when I was in the Elven Tomb, because fighting things like skeletal bats to get the lost levels back would have taken forever. It would have taken absolutely forever. Now, we'll save here. We'll go in here, and hopefully we have all that we need. We've defeated the, uh... main werewolf, and we have three special scrolls, so... let us talk. Get away! By all the gods, leave this place! Let's see what we have. Uh... In our travels, we have learned of lycanthropy. The cure is dangerous, but we are willing to attempt it. Oh, by the spirit of my father! By my mother's enduring love! Yes! Anything! I swear to you my undying gratitude! All that I can, all that I have to give will be yours! Go then, prepare what you must! Retreat from the terrible rage that overcomes my heart! Hmm. It seems like we're missing something. Either that, or I just haven't got the spells in hand. Do we have to put them in my hands and cast them on you? Hmm. So if I... Where are the other two scrolls? They're probably in here somewhere. This is when they are in here somewhere. Also, this is going to super heavily overburden us. So, special scroll of atonement and a special scroll of Remove Curse. Right, let's grab this, put these back, which will then heavily reduce the amount of stuff you're carrying. Not by much, though. We're back to being burdened. Right, I'm curious as to if I'm, like, meant to cast these on you, like this. Two, three. Oh, gods! Pure, untainted, innocent blood fills my veins. At last, I am free! My raging night of the soul is ended! We are glad for you and happy to have been of help. Can you find your way home? But I have no home. No worldly possessions. No longer. They are yours. Here, this key I give you opens a door to a house in the village of Barovia. The house and everything within it are yours. To do this is the smallest reward any man might confer for the salvation of his mortal life. I cannot return. Many of my victim's belongings are there. What will you do with your life now that you're healed? I remember my victims. I can still see the startled, glazed look in their eyes when my weight and strength pinned them beyond hope of escape. When my growls were close upon them and the hot breath of animal fury was against their throats. Now, though I be weak and mortal, I must make amends. I must help those families I have cruelly torn. Then I hope you will find your redemption and peace. Me too. I, me too. I doubt I will, but I'll try. Farewell, my saviors. Farewell. Well, it is done. It is done. He is safe. And well. And you finally got that house you were looking for, Velika. <laughs> I have, but for some reason I don't feel like staying here. A wise sentiment. Let us head back and see just what was left behind. And I think I know which, uh, place we need to go. Also, I'm curious as to whether the reason why we can't use any of the, uh, keys on this is because the keyring is full. <gasps> it is full! Oh, it works like a, uh... It works like a chest. It's a storage chest for keys. That is very interesting. Right, I think the place we need to go is, um... This house here, because I'm pretty sure that house, if I do... Um... 
where is it? The big, big um, building. It's a big, massive building. Oh, 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 hang on. There's a building here. Yes. That one there has a door that we can't actually... Uh, we couldn't open. Also, I don't know why I'm going this way. Don't ask me why. But I am. So let's go around and see just what we have in that house. Just what is our reward. Right, we need to go and... There it is. That house right there. So this way... Seem some places are not meant to enter, regardless of our efforts. Ah, yes, you're referring to a uh, boarded up house, right? Just through there, and we will have found the place we're looking for. Yep, this way's here. One key, a key of blood. And there is the loot. There is nothing here worth defiling our good natures over. How can we confiscate the objects that were slain, of innocents sent to their deaths by a werewolf? What's done is done. Lord Delt's amulet is our goal, retrieving it the greater good. To use what we can from these supplies is only common sense. Aye. Best to take them rather than have brigands steal them. So, what do we have here? Gonna have to see what's magical. An entirely mundane dagger. An entirely mundane cloak. A halberd. Non-magical. This helmet. It's made of adamantite. Fine material for a helm. Then I shall wear it. I shall wear it and use it well. What are the rest of all of this? I'm curious as to if magic items glow when um, they're on the ground, like that one did. Then again, it could just be blue. There's a ointment. We like ointments. Um, sling bullets. Well, they're definitely not going to be magical. Though we do throw quite well. We have a shield. That is very not magical. Gauntlets of Dexterity! Ooh! Okay. Your Dexterity is currently 16. Your Dexterity is 13. Giving you that increases your, um... Your Dexterity... To your Armor Class to minus 3. Giving these to you... Does nothing. Huh. Oh, it only increases them by 1. Oh, okay. So from 16 to... No, no, no. From 16 to 17. Well, I suppose Gerard gets to use it then. There we go. We have a suit of chainmail. Entirely non-magical. A spear. Non-magical. A potion of extra healing. That's nice. A pouch that contains... Ho ho ho! Oh my! A ring of regeneration. This will restore health to those that lose them. You should use that, Gerard. I'll take the ring of resisting fire, and you can have the one of regeneration and freedom of movement. Fair enough, if you're sure. I'm absolutely sure. A dagger? We've yet to find a single magical dagger in the game. And a composite bow. Again, not magical. That was a wonderful selection of loot, and we're not even done yet, because there is a quiver. It contains, well, no arrows, but hey, quiver. That was a good haul of loot. And so, when we come back, folks, we have not only restored the Acolyte to life, we've also cured that man of his lycanthropy, and got... Some very nice items out of it. Some very, very nice items. When we come back, we'll deposit stuff with the Paladin once more and prepare to head to Castle Ravenloft. This time, 
uninvited. And I get the feeling we're going to face some stiff resistance once we enter those halls, not as a guest, but as an interloper. Those guards we saw when we were invited to eat with Strahd. Yeah, I feel like we're going to be fighting them soon enough, and I hope we're ready. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.